I could tell, you know, that she was tense. And I'm like, that's fine. So I just said to her, I understand that I'm not the ideal person, you know, that most mothers will want for their kids. She said to Brian, are you sure you want to be with someone that you're going to wipe the butt for the rest of your life? As a result of that, we didn't speak for about six months. Wipe so the butt? Here. She said that in front of her? Wow. Oh. Am I canceled? Yes. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Vince, and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're reacting to my wife is two feet eleven. So what? Love don't judge. Love may not judge. But I do. <laughs> oh! Dude, this is literally the cancel speed run. You what am I supposed to say to not get canceled? I can't say nothing about this. Like, what, what, what do I say? I hope they have a, 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 I can't say it. I can't say nothing. Anything that's coming out is getting canceled. You like literally, like what am I supposed to say? I hope the relationship doesn't end short. Oh! I hope it's not. A short time huh? that even makes sense. I'm, I'm just being blatantly disrespectful now. I deserve this one. Oh! But no, on a serious note, you know, love is love, and her being two feet eleven is good that she found someone that loves her. You know, I ain't hating, I ain't knocking it. It is what it is. I'm happy for her. Let's give her a round of applause. You're still canceled, bruh. So like I said, it's not really much I can say without getting canceled right off the bat. So we finna try to make it through this whole eight minutes without getting canceled. So let's get into it. Let's go. It's Yessie. She fell in love with Brian. I am five foot nine. I'm two foot ten. Three feet of difference between us. People used to tell me that I shouldn't date an average sized person. The couple's journey to happiness has not been an easy one, and they often face judgment due to Yessie's height. Someone would walk up to Yessie, you know, suddenly just pat her on the head. Or... It's <laughs> a bit oh! She said, Who's patting this grown lady on the head? This clearly looks like a grown lady. She's just small. I wish I would find myself walking up to a random stranger that I think is a kid and saying, Oh, hi, little buddy. It's a nice day outside. Would you like some candy? What? Well, and she said, hey, get away from me. I'm grown. Uh, well, how do you fall for something like this? This lady looks grown. That can't be a real story. That cannot be a real story, bro. I don't believe that one. So Brian, are you sure you want to be with someone that you're going to wipe the butt for the rest of your life? I just let it think about what he was getting himself into it. We didn't speak for about six months. So, Mom, I wanted to know why you didn't approve of us. Wow, she a hater. I'm Jesse. And I'm Brian. And we're in a height difference relationship with three foot of difference. People used to always tell me, oh, you should only date a little person. In fact, I think at one point, even my mom thought that she would rather have me date a little person because she thought an average sized person will treat me badly. And in fact, I never in my 34 years of life dated a little person. We met online and we started talking a little bit. I thought she was very pretty when I first saw her photo. I, I knew she was a little person because it was a full body photo. After talking for a little while, we decided to meet up for dinner one night. You know, we got along really well. She just made me feel comfortable. I mean, I just knew that I could be myself 100%. We moved in a year after, so five years ago, we moved in together. And then in 2021, we actually got married at the Bahamas. So that estrophic dysplasia is a very rare type of dwarfism. There's only one in one y'all please do not cancel me for what i am about to say because i would have said it about anybody normal size small size big size but look at her toes oh my god <laughs> what what do you, you want me to do me. like I, 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 you want me to sit here and not say nothing the whole time and just let y'all watch no i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk Hey, 
uh, I'm sure it's part of like the disease she got or the um the birth effect. But I'm just saying, like, it threw me off for a little bit. I'm just not trying to discriminate. What? Right? I'm trying to keep the same energy that I would keep for a normal sized person. Like, I all right, bro. Now I'm canceled. Okay. One million people can get it. The main issues with being dystrophic is our arms and legs are shorter and our cartilage and all the joints get degenerated faster. Some oh. of the things that I find the most challenging is the fact that nothing is made for me. Reaching is the hardest. Uh, opening stuff when it's too tight. Like if you didn't have your chair, you wouldn't be able to cook really. The main thing that I will struggle with is society and, you know, discrimination going out, people staring, the fact that some people believe it's okay to just come and ask very personal questions or take pictures without even asking. Huh? Now, that's what? ignorant, bro. That's ignorant. If you're one of those people that really just put out your phone because you seen this lady on the middle of the street and took a picture of her like, oh my God, I can't wait to show everybody at work what I saw. Wow. Like, y'all are ignorant. I think that is bogus. Like, I hate people that treat people like that. Like, I feel like it's one thing to say something about a person you saw on the street, like behind closed doors, but to like sit here and like actually go up to her and like where it, like she knows you're talking about her, like that is bogus to me. I don't know. Like I feel like that's just ignorant, but you know, it's an evil world we live in, I guess. Walk up to Yessie, you know, suddenly just pat her on the head. It seems kind of rude, but at the same time, we don't make a bigger deal of it because we don't know how some people will react to it in public. I think the fact that he's an average size person makes people be more respectful because there's someone that could stand up if it was needed. When I'm by myself, there's some parents that will come and tell the, the kid, come look, and they start pointing, and that's upsetting. I don't mind the kids being curious, that's normal, but the ignorance of adults, that is a, a trigger for me. Me and too. And when it comes to us as a couple, I think the one that I have noticed the most, people making the assumption that he's my caregiver. And I'm like, uh, no, but he's not my caregiver, he's my husband. And I enjoy uh, doing a lot of things for her. It's not something that I feel forced to do or anything like that. I do it because I love her and I would do it for anyone else, whether they had a condition or not, you know, if I love them. I find it hard sometimes to find clothes that fits me because of the length. So today, actually, Ryan and I are adjusting a shirt that I bought a couple days ago. Most of my friends and family reacted really well, actually. I was surprised. The worst thing has been actually the closer family. Although they might not tell us directly, I have learned that they make really mean comments, such as uh, he is either crazy or stupid to be with such a disgusting person. So I recount my statement earlier, I guess. Bruh. It's not okay to talk about them behind closed doors. I just learned that, you know, we all human. You know, we learn, live and learn. It's okay to think about it behind closed doors, which is what I should have said. And, you know, maybe out loud sometimes if it's just between you and like someone you know that's not gonna be ignorant and go just say that out loud you know what i'm saying like i don't know that is bogus how'd it come back to her oh, who spilled the beans y'all are ignorant even if i did know the information and knew they was talking crazy about her behind closed doors but it was cool in front of her face i'm not bringing it to light that's none of my business dude because that's only gonna make her feel bad and it's gonna make the whole situation weird I'm keeping it in the dark, bro. I'm, I, I'm not snitching because, hey, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Whether or not we should or shouldn't have children, since I'm a little person coming from a close family member telling me that regardless of how much they say they love me, it feels more like if we could choose, we, we don't want you here. Wow. When I first told my mom about Yessie's height, she was a little reserved about it. But I told her, no, I had, like I loved Yessie and I was happy with her. And she was when happy? I met her, I could tell, you know, that she was tense. And I'm like, that's fine. So I just said to her, I understand that I'm not the ideal person, you know, that most mothers will want for their kids. She said to Brian, are you sure you want to be with someone that you're going to wipe the butt for the rest of your life? As a result of that, we didn't speak for about six months. Wipe so the butt? Here. She said that in front of her? That's ignorant. That's ignorant. Me personally, I'm not wiping no grown person doo-doo or just doo-doo and, and regardless. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be having to wipe my little brother and stuff. Wow. That's besides the point. That'd be nasty. I'd be in there finna throw up. I'd be 
I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. That's none of y'all business. But like, what? Come on, bro. Whatever he doing with his wife, he he want to wipe her butt. Let him wipe her butt. Like I feel like as a parent and your child fall in love with someone like this, and like you should be happy that they even found love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, why are people so ignorant? Like this, like I find this hard to believe. I find it hard to believe. It's no way people are just this blunt and bold. Because me, I'm not the type of person to tell you like about something. Like I avoid confrontation at all costs. You know, like, I, I just hate it for some reason. Like, I don't I don't want no problems. Unless, like, I know you or something. But I don't know. Like, this is weird. Because I know his mom is everything for him. So, today she's coming over to talk about her hesitation. I'm a little bit nervous about the conversation. I had a lot of concerns. I never met anybody who was small. The way Brian put it at the beginning, it was like she was totally dependent. She's in a wheelchair. And I, I just let it think about what he was getting himself into it. You said that about so closed doors, though. Know, at the beginning of our relationship, why you didn't approve of us. It wasn't about the size, the height. It was more to do with the fact that you told me she's in a wheelchair. I work in the medical field. When someone says wheelchair to us, that means total care. You have to do everything for them. It's one thing to go help somebody for a day, and it's something else to do a lifetime. As a mother, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, that's where I was coming from. I wasn't present during that conversation, oh, but it might have been okay. more the wording of it that was misunderstood or what harsh were Brian to hear. You hit Okay. I know Boston a lot, I'm sorry, but how y'all feel about this? I thought that girl was present when the mom said that. No, she was not there. Brian went back and said, yeah, my mom said I shouldn't be with you because I'm about to wipe your butt for the rest of my life. What? Like, why would he even say that? He could have worded it, like, I mean, I, maybe, like, as far as, like, treating them the normal, though, like, you know, sugarcoat it, but I feel like I wouldn't have said it like that. I would have said, like, mm, nah. We not going to grandma's house for a while. Like, it, uh, grandma, <laughs> we can't go to my mom's house for a while. Like, it would have been one of those. Like, he went back and told her verbatim what she said. I think that might have been the wrong move, but let's keep going. Hit it right on the head. And it was more about that. He saw it as disapproval. But in reality, it was about a commitment to do what it takes. I'm the type of person that if you're going to start something, you better do it right. And I guess me not explaining 100% what Yessie's capabilities yeah. were. After the first time you met Yessie and you saw that she drove and, you know, did a lot of things on her own, it got a little easier. I knew from the gig that whoever I would date, the parents will be heads of them just because I'm not the average or the ideal people that people would just be sure. So I guess the real question is, like, now that me and Yessie have been together for five years dang do you feel better about our relationship yeah I, I see that you guys love each other that you get along you compliment each other when you get to know somebody when you get to like somebody you don't see the height and if you bring him happiness and you guys love each other i'm more than happy come on give me some Thank love you so much <laughs> you have to look at people not with your eyes but with your heart I always said that if they love my children, that's all they matter to Our hopes for the future Thanks. and for our family is to keep the family growing, whether that's with children or with more dogs and more pets. We have talked about having children, but it's, I think that we're both back and forth between wanting to and also whether we have the time. What I love the most about him is how caring and genuine he is with me and the fact that he's just willing to go above and beyond for this relationship. We support each other, you know, it takes two people to make a good relationship and we try our best to do it. We live our lives and we're happy with our lives. That's all that matters to us. I don't want people to admire, you know, I'm not a goddess, I'm not an angel, like a lot of people say, just a person. So all I will say is, Admire. You cancel! Respect our relationship. Respect me as a person and that's it. Love don't judge. But I do. No, I'm playing. Oh. <laughs> don't play it, bro. I don't know. You know, like after watching them, like I always feel, not feel better because it's none of my business, but I'm saying like I always like, you know, 
my perspective changed a little bit after watching him. Like, at first, I kind of be like, hmm, you know, I don't know about this. But then after, it's like, oh, okay. They make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those for me. Like, I didn't really have no, like, bad blood or, like, not bad blood, but, like, any concerns with this relationship before I watched it. I'm just saying, like, in general, you know, it's out of the norm, and they make it normal to me after I watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think, though? Like, how y'all feel about this relationship? Do y'all think, like, it should be accepted? Do y'all think, you know, people are ignorant walking up to them? Like, me personally, I feel like, yeah, people are ignorant. They walk up to them, take pictures, do all this other stuff, can't control your kids. If my kid point at this lady and say, Daddy, look at this lady or this elf thing. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to say, oh, boy. Right in his nose. He's sleep now. They're going to say, oh, my God. He just hit his son. Yeah, yeah, I hit him. Did y'all hear what he said? He just embarrassed me, and I got to face confrontation. No, face my hand now. Like, I, I don't know. It's just one of those for me. Like, I don't know. I think people are ignorant. I think it's a cruel world we live in. But, you know, it is what it is. That's why you got to stay in your own bubble. You got to mind your business, keep your head down, and just live life. You know? I don't know. Wise words from Vince. I, is that what that was? I don't. I don't know. But, yeah, the mom is wild, though. She is wild for saying, you're going to have to wipe her butt for the rest of her life. Bruh. That was crazy. I thought she said that to her directly, but it turns out, no, he went and repeated that, so he's an idiot. Like, I, I feel like she he just put, like, a barrier now between them, like, ever, like, really being, like, you know what I'm saying, like, cool with each other. Now it's always going to be like, mm, she said, you're going to have to wipe my butt for the rest of my life. She don't approve. You know, I feel like it was one of those. Like, he could have went back and said, you know, she just got to process this and maybe she'll come back around. But no, he went back and said verbatim, you can't wipe your butt. That's what he said. I, I, I think he's stupid. I think he's stupid for that. So, like I said, y'all let me know how y'all feel down below in the comments. Like, what do y'all think? Do y'all think they should have kids? Do y'all think, hey, this is a normal relationship? Do y'all think it's okay? Let me know down below how you feel in the comments. And y'all know if y'all enjoy the video, if y'all enjoy the video, if y'all enjoy the video, if y'all enjoyed the video, too make sure to subscribe. We only want to 10,000 subscribers. And hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Because it just makes sense to like button if you like the video. No, it don't make sense. She said she was going to have to wipe her butt for the rest of her life. Me personally, I'm not wiping no booty.